hi friends, welcome back to another Renee's Recap. Um, I'm Tanisha Renee and this is my channel where I talk about grad school and all that other fun stuff. So basically, I haven't recorded in like two weeks, which I think the previous video is kind of the same way. Um, yeah, and I'll talk about that more later in this video. Hopefully this is a short and sweet recap. Um, so what I've kind of done is wrote down a list of things that has happened in the last two weeks um, that are important or that are substantial that I think people would like to hear about. So first of all, in the last two weeks, my lab runs a intervention group um, that sort of focuses around ACT, um, which is acceptance commitment therapy. Um, and so we sort of, well the lab has sort of created this intervention for um, mainly black women and then we've sort of converted it into a intervention group for people of color and so basically what the group is is sort of helping people reconcile and deal with racism um and yeah so that has started in my lab um they had a group before like before i got there um and so this is my first time seeing the intervention being done um it's really cool it's kind of like it gives me like group therapy vibes um and Sorry, I thought Nehemiah was whining. Um, it gives me group therapy vibes, but it's really interesting um, because there's just a lot of different people's perspectives on racism, perspectives on um, internalized racism and appropriated uh, racism and oppression. So it's just really cool to see how the intervention works. And then eventually, hopefully, our intervention will be expanded and I'll start running groups. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to say about that. Um, also, in the last two weeks, I started my first real child assessment case, um, which is super, super cool. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, I'm taking a, a clinical child psychology class. Yeah, clinical child psychology. I think this semester is assessment and the next semester is intervention. Um, so this semester we're learning all about different types of assessments, different type of scales, all that good stuff. And so as part of the class, we have to do like a child assessment class or a child assessment case because um, our like clinic doesn't necessarily take kid cases all the time. Um, so yeah so that started and then <laughs> I got sick well I didn't get full sick but I got really like not feeling well um, in the last two weeks and I still haven't really been able to fight it all the way off it's kind of like a perpetual headache um, and I know I'm drinking enough water I know I'm getting enough sleep I'm eating well whatever I don't really know what it is but I've been feeling real real off for the last few weeks well at least the last two weeks for sure um, and then Nehemiah my dog who's laying right here um, he got sick like super sick where I had to take him to the vet twice um, which is really scary like it's just it's it was really scary for me um as many of you know i don't know if a lot of you know but my dog is 12 years old um i know he doesn't look it but as he starts to whine what's wrong bud you want to get down um he's 12 years old and you know when older dogs get sick you just sort of like assume the worst is going to happen and i was just really really worried because like he wasn't eating he was just super lethargic um, and I was really worried. I had to take him to the vet twice and just, it was really scary for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, sorry I keep moving the cameras because my arm is crazy. Um, so that was a major source of stress this last week, at least for me. Um, yeah, plus just, I've been like going through some stuff emotionally, like where I just, I'm like overwhelmed all the time, which I know is like a part of grad school, um, which is like a part of grad school. And I know it happens, but it's been sort of hard these last two weeks, honestly. Sorry, I'm trying to watch him to see what he is doing and what he needs. I really don't think he needs anything. I think he's being dramatic. Um, okay. 
So yeah, so that was super stressful, the dog being sick. And then on top of that, around the same time, I was also sick, so it was just not a good week. And I've just been really stressed out, which is like strange because I often get super stressed out when there's not a lot of stuff that's going on. And I don't know what it is, like when stuff is going on, I'm super busy, I'm good. But like as soon as stuff just like starts to slow down just slightly, like all this stress hits me and it's just not a good look. Okay, kind of got off topic there. Um, oh yes, so also in the last two weeks I've started analyzing my data. So right now I am basically just assessing for normality, um, running description, descriptives. Um, I've subsetted my data because I don't know if I've talked about this, but I'm using an archival data set and so the data set is pretty massive. Um, so I had to go through and clean out all the stuff I didn't need and yeah basically that's where i'm at with my thesis um i had a midterm in my ethics class uh not gonna lie i don't feel super good about it um i don't feel bad about it though because some stuff i really knew some stuff i was like oh yes got this answer got this answer got this answer some stuff i was like i think this is the answer but who knows so yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. I haven't gotten the grade back yet. I literally just did that on Wednesday. So, um, everybody in the program's like, don't worry about it, it's fine. But you know, it's not like a great feeling to feel like you didn't do good on a test. So, that's that. Um, oh, and then today, which is why my face is done up more decently than normal, um, I went to a luncheon with my lab mate, uh, Kiara. I don't know if I really wanted to say your name on camera, but here we are. Um, she went to Hampton and so now she's in my lab. She's the first year in my lab and it's just really cool to have another Hampton person in the lab. Um, and yeah, so we went to a luncheon today for her and it was super great. I had a really, really good time. Um, and yeah, so sort of what I wanted to say about school is it still feels very chaotic like it feels like quicksand like i just it it doesn't feel like stable and we're like past midterms at this point if that makes sense so it's like i just don't feel very like comfortable in the school year yet like i feel like i haven't hit my stride or i haven't gotten into the groove yet which i don't know like will i ever feel like i've gotten into the groove i'm not really sure if you hear some random noises that's my dog eating the dog food he's kind of on a hunger strike because the vet has him on bland dog food and he really hates it but he's hungry so now he's eating anyways all that to say i feel like i haven't hit my stride yet in school i feel like time is just going super fast and i haven't been able to like you know like get into the swing of things with school yet like i don't know i don't know how to describe it but yes that's kind of how i feel about the school year right now at the midterm point i still feel like some weeks it just continually feels like the first week of school. Like, you know, that like just not really knowing what to expect and stuff. Um, yes. Okay, and so the last thing I wanted to talk about is I just haven't been super motivated to record recaps. Um, sometimes I feel like they are kind of redundant and that they're not like worth putting out because like i mean week to week is cool but i'm just wondering if there's like a better way for me to do them so that i feel good about them so that you guys aren't bored watching them um yeah and i just haven't figured that out yet um if you have suggestions on how to make this better if you really like the way the recaps are set up now let me know in the comments um because i just don't know um yeah so i think sort of moving forward with my channel i'm hoping to do more videos coming up soon like a week in my life a day in my life um and i also wanted to do like a weekend in my life like a weekend grad student video i thought that would be cool and maybe some outfits of the week um videos but if you guys have any suggestions on videos i would love them i would be super open to them um yeah yeah i just don't know about these recaps like they serve a good purpose sorry i don't know what's going on with my eyes it's just shadows i guess um they serve a good purpose first year because i was learning so much but this year i feel like i mean i am learning a lot this year especially in neuro but i just don't know how exactly these recaps should look or if there's any suggestions or if there's anything that you would like to know about my week like 
If there's anything that like I'm not including in the recap that you would like to be included in the recap, you can put that in the comments too. Um, and yeah, so going forward, I mean, I'm going to keep doing the recaps, I guess, um, unless somebody has a really great suggestion and I'm like, oh yeah, let's do that. Um, we'll see, but I'm just like, I don't know, I'm kind of over the recaps. That sounds bad, but I just feel like I'm not giving that much information about grad school or giving information that people really want to know. So I don't know, I'm kind of in a weird spot about it. All that to say, Thanks for watching. And if you haven't followed me on my Instagram, you should do that. Um, I am posting semi-regularly. Uh, I don't really know. My engagement's been off on my Instagram, so I'm kind of thinking, I don't know about that. But follow me over my Instagram. If you watched this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I talk about grad school mostly. Um, I'm hoping to get into more like lifestyle videos um, as the channel grows and um, as I mature and like budgeting. I mean, somebody suggested that I do a budget video, but here's the thing, I don't budget. Like I do a terrible job at budgeting, but I really want to be a budgeter. And so once I get, figure out how I budget and how it works for me, I'll be able to do a video like that. That was so rambly. I'm so sorry. Jesus, these videos. Okay, follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends if you found this video helpful or you liked it, or if you know somebody who's a psych major and is considering doing clinical psychology, um, hit them up and share this channel with them. Um, and oh, if you've watched this far, leave a, leave a fall emoji because the weather here has been perfect for fall. Um, yeah, I've been really, really loving it. So yeah, leave some fall emojis. Um, and basically that's it. So I will see you guys next week. Peace out and I love you all so much. Goodbye.